Hey guys, this is uh, Random Stuff with Alex Hughes, and today's day three of trying to start my business. Um, today wasn't actually that bad. I woke up at the same time as usual, 5.30, uh, around that time anyways, and then I told myself, you know, today's going to be an awesome day, and that, you know, I was going to talk to somebody or meet somebody, you know, that would, you know, start a conversation, you know? And um, I could, oh, I also had an epiphany too. And so I ended up, um, I had my breakfast, which was, you know, like nuts, a little bit of goji berries, and then I had a smoothie. Um, that was actually pretty good. Um, this smoothie had a lot of oats in it. It was pretty sweet. Um, and then um, I had my vitamin routine, and then I walked um, specifically in the Barsby Street area. Usual route, you know, Hutchison. It didn't take me very long. It took me about an hour. Um, I didn't see any of the side streets because most of them are... Uh, well, there's only two side streets. One was private and the other one really wasn't worth walking down because it was literally just a tiny little blip. But yeah, I ended up doing research more. I finished that like hour, two hour long... Sorry, there was an ant on my leg. But yeah, I finished that uh, two hour long video about um, uh, building a social media marketing agency. It seems so easy. So, um, you know, I'm, it just motivates me more to, you know, try at it and uh, get something started, get some clients and help them out with their business. Um, so I ended up, uh, yeah, I came back and I did my uh, Qigong routine and I... Um, uh, did my meditation and then I focused mainly today on um what did I focus on today uh oh yeah it was I ended up making my smoothie for lunch which is pretty much the same type of stuff and um I made my smoothie later on I don't think grapes are necessarily the best thing to put in a smoothie um I I realized that the flavor is just kind of strange um, I think they're best eaten whole. Um, I definitely got to get more fruit uh, to blend. Um, but yeah, I ended up um, I ended up leaving around ten o'clock, and I uh, I was working on my Instagram, and then uh, like I said, it's been going great. Even after a month of inactivity, you know, I I've been gaining followers, and you know, big big names are actually starting to like, you know, what I'm posting and what I'm doing because I have this idea just to revitalize a part of my city um, that I live in, technically anyways, um, that is just, it's always been counted out, you know. You know those parts of town that, like, they're counted out, you know. But um, I'm not trying to do anything like, I'm not trying to be like, you know, uh, uh, an activist about it. You know, I, I just want to... Like a tourist page, you know, you come into that part of town and you kind of see it for a different perspective, you know, um, than, you know, people talk about the gangs and stuff, but that doesn't really exist anymore, to be honest. It might have existed 20 years ago, but that's not the case anymore. Um, but it's just really to show a different side of the of the area um, because I personally have, I've walked down that area uh, numerous times throughout high school and, um, you know, I, what I saw what wasn't a, a sketchy part of town. I actually saw, you know, this part of town that it's like a gold mine. It's literally a gold mine, guys. Um, so, and there's so much opportunity there for growth. Um, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm looking at that part of town. Um, you know, uh, there's still opportunities there that haven't been taken. Um, so I might as well take advantage of it, you know? Um, not, not in a, in a negative way per se, but just in a way that I could help other people out and to grow their business, grow their exposure, uh, you know, get people coming in the doors, check it out, you know? And, um, yeah, so I ended up taking two shots. I posted them on Instagram and I posted a story, um, added to the story. I find Oh yeah. What I was doing this morning was I was trying to figure out what was going on with Instagram because there was an issue with posting and so I ended up having to delete the data and that actually worked and I just reposted it wasn't that big of a deal um 
But yeah, so I got some content and I was listening to some videos just about how to make money, how to become a millionaire in like 30 days. You know, <laughs> it might be a crazy idea, but um, uh, what I'm aiming for is just a uh, amount of success that I've never seen before in my life. So, you know, a certain income amount and a certain amount of clients is actually not hard. I, I kid you not. Like my goal is just, excuse me, two to three clients. Um, and the pay rate wouldn't be that that high, at least for, you know, some people, you know, but I'm just trying to aim for something that allows me to invest in my education and myself. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing that and I ended up, uh, taking the bus. I didn't go to the gym as you guys know, because it's closed, but, um, I psyched that and I ended up going over to, uh, South, uh, I think it was South Carlsbad state beach. So I could walk along uh, Lucadia and then up to moonlight. And, um, it was a beautiful day outside. There's basically no clouds. It wasn't very cold. Um, sunny day. I didn't bring any sunscreen or I didn't put any sunscreen on. That's why my nose is literally red. Um, and my forehead's red too. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a beautiful day to just walk and listen to some just success tips, you know, some stuff about finances. I don't necessarily agree with everything they say because I don't think, like I said, you have to question your reality because uh, not everything that is said is entirely the truth. And so that's why you got to be careful what you put into your mind because your mind is the most powerful thing out there. So if you're putting in garbage, then you're probably going to think garbage. Or just the idea is that, you know, you'll be influenced to make decisions and those decisions aren't necessarily the best decisions. So, yeah, I ended up, um, you know, walking along the beach. My advice to you guys is um, to get out there, enjoy the sunshine, uh, enjoy the other company of other people. And I, I realize how important it is to socialize, to talk with other people and to just to just live life um, because, you know, staying cooped up in your house is not fun. I've, I've done that my entire life, um, especially growing up. I was so afraid to go outside, so afraid to interact with people. And um, it, what it resulted in was just a lot of fear and anxiety, unnecessary fear and anxiety. So uh, that's what I that's what I recommend is just to go outside enjoy the day, enjoy what you have, you know? And, um, so yeah, I ended up, uh, walking down Encinitas, uh, the downtown area is pretty fairly busy, not as busy on the weekends, but, um, like I said, the tourists are out and it's great to see people, other human beings. Wow. That's such a surprise. Uh, you know, what's interesting is that it always seems like the flip of the coin happens, the pendulum. Like when I start rising up, I see people around me, like whom I usually think as like, you know, strong start to go down. It's, it's weird. This kind of opposite, opposite type of vibes, you know, what I noticed, you know, my entire life is that I've kind of been straddling at the bottom with a lot of anxiety and fear. And so I've always kind of looked up to people as stronger. And then when I get to that point, then the opposite happens. And it's, it's such a strange thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hang out in those nice areas because I think I've said this before, but it's just kind of putting yourself in that mindset of where life can actually be at, you know, the healthy living, the nice food, the, the nice kind of environment. So you have to, it's like putting yourself in an environment of success and to know you can achieve higher. So I think that's a good kind of psychological subconscious programming, right? What are you putting into your mind? And so if I'm putting myself in a higher vibrational area, then I'm going to attract those. That's going to influence my subconscious mind. And that's how powerful that stuff is, actually, is the power to influence the mind. And of course, this is a lot. I, I actually finished Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. This book is solid. I, I love this book. This this book is literally so relevant, even though it was written like 80 years ago, over 80 years ago now. And it's like so surprising how people have not applied this. The majority of people have not applied this. If this was the case, we would be literally, if everybody in the entire planet applied a lot of these principles, who knows? 
I kid you not, guys. If people apply this, we would be... Who knows where we'd be? But I know we'd be, we'd be like our civilization. If everybody applied this, we would be like... So we would be like flying cars and stuff. I, I kid you not, guys. Like, you know, you've seen the cartoons about how, like, in the year 2000, all this stuff would happen. I, I kid you not. If we apply these principles, we would be, like, in an, in an era that doesn't – it's incomprehensible. But um, that's just how powerful this book is, you know. And it made me – it reminded me that – anything is possible that there's no such thing as impossible and it made me realize just how much you know people love to say how things are impossible even the most craziest ideas you know inventions or just medical discoveries or just in general and we limit our this abundance mindset right we're in a scarcity mindset that you know only this this is only this small amount of things are possible. But the thing is, reality is so expansive. The possibilities are endless. And your mind can create anything if you tune in to the present moment. That's all you got to do, guys, is that we're so caught up in the past and in the future. Like for me, it's like the past. I kind of ruminate on the past and what I did and sometimes it haunts me right it's like oh you did this in the past you did this in the past you did this in the past the, the mind loves to do that and you know you're just you're stuck in your thoughts you're like oh my god I did all this stuff in the past and you're kind of you're not living in the present moment and when you're not living in the present moment you're not aware of the situation at hand so you could be at the beach it's a beautiful day but you're in your head thinking about how the past and the past or the future, right? You're worried about the future and what's going to happen. You're like, what if the world ends? What if the natural disasters, you know, the, the constant things, you know, and you're not living in the present moment and you're not enjoying your reality. And the thing is, those are distractions. Those are tests because if you were to live in the present moment, you would be able to take advantage of the reality at hand. You would be able to take advantage of the moment, maybe talk to somebody, maybe calm yourself down, maybe truly think about what you actually want in that moment, rather than be so caught up in all these things that will pass. In this, um, in this Think and Grow Rich, I think they mentioned something from the Bible. I, I, I've never read the Bible. I've never read the Bible, but this too shall pass. And that was my revelation for today uh this too shall pass where this idea is that there's so many thoughts in my head of how the past all the decisions you made in the past why did you make that decision is that with the right decision how is that decision going to affect and all this stuff in your head but if you recognize that this too shall pass where these storm clouds that constantly circle around your mind and try to ensnare you this too shall pass where the idea is that eventually those thoughts are going to lose their power because you control your thoughts and your mind so you can control what you think how you feel how you perceive your reality and to move forward from the past this too shall pass the problem for me is i always argued with my thoughts i was like arguing with my decisions and arguing with my my ideas and i couldn't move on because i just be constantly wrestling with the thoughts of my past and and debating and and it would affect just my reality in general i couldn't move on from my past or this future that didn't exist because when you're in the present moment, the only moment that exists is right now. Not the past, not the future, the present moment. That's the only moment that exists. This too shall pass. And so a lot of things about just what is possible and what is impossible, that doesn't exist because everything is possible. And it's like, wow so powerful some powerful revelations i love this setting an intention in the morning just to discover something 
and I got to speak with somebody uh, that I haven't spoken to for a long time. His name, uh, he's actually from the South, and he has this great movie idea. Um, I won't delve too much into it, but I got to speak with him, and you know, he's very motivational too because he's so passionate about this idea he has, you know, because he believes, you know, God is helping him. And, you know, he hasn't given up on his idea because sometimes, you know, you can't give up. You know, you could be close to the floor, but that's the moment where you have, where the biggest ideas come in. And that's actually what Jay today was talking about in his channel was this idea that when those emotions are the strongest, when you feel the most like giving up, that's when the sign from the universe comes. And that's when you have to really push forward. So it's great to practice my social skills. Maybe I'll talk to somebody else tomorrow. Somebody and my uh, mind group, uh, mind team, I think that's what uh, Napoleon Hill talked about, this having a mind team, just basically having this group of people that with like mind and like goals that you can converse with, talk with, so that way, you know, you can share ideas um, and share, uh, yeah, similar ideas about like what you want and what they want. And, and maybe you can learn something, but it's about, it's motivational. So it's uplifting, right? They have to be on the same wavelength as you. So I'm, I'm thinking about communicating with some of my network and just talking with them and just having a conversation about not necessarily just motivational conversation about just reality in general, you know, so very powerful stuff, guys. If you read, the, if you read this book, you will, you will change your life. I kid you not, guys. So, um, yeah, I ended up, uh, finishing Think and Grow Rich. I bought three new books today. One is a classic that, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard about because it's a bestseller. It's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It was actually written around the same time as Think and Grow Rich. And it's just another classic book about, um, yeah, it's just very, it's a very classic book. Um, and it's, it's powerful. I know it's going to be a powerful book. Um, you know, and, um, it's definitely great for leadership business. Um, it's definitely going to be something essential for me to read. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for it, uh, to read that book. It was actually pretty cheap compared with the, it's a hardcover. Hardcovers are usually actually pretty expensive. There's no price, surprisingly. Um, let's see. Usually there's a price around here somewhere. Uh, maybe not, but hardcovers are usually pretty expensive. Um, and one is called, another book I got is called The Happiness Track. Um, this was only written a few years back. Um, yeah, so it's basically, um, you know, in your business, um, the business environment, right? Um, so I guess it's trying to combat the stress in that environment um, through happiness, resilience, willpower, creativity, and mindfulness. So it's something that I'm interested in. I've been interested in mindfulness probably for an, the past four years. Uh, resilience, I have learned about resilience, especially during that time four years ago when I was on the first NoFab journey. I definitely needed that. And eight weeks to optimum health. Uh, this guy is, I've seen him before. Um, basically natural healing. Um, I'd definitely be interested in seeing what he has to say about that. Um, so yeah, I got three books, very cheap, um, but good investment into my, uh, not only my personal uh, life, but also my business life. So I'm excited. I plan things out for tomorrow. I'm, I'm really excited guys for tomorrow. The universe will reward me. And I kind of had, it was a little bit tricky with Instagram because um, I adopted some new techniques of, you know, who do I want to follow? Um, you know, I was trying to detox myself from a lot of profiles that were very, um, I guess, inappropriate per se, um, that, you know, were showing off. And, you know, I was trying to eliminate a lot of lustful tendencies uh, in terms of, uh, influence on social media. And so I was doing that, 
um, by unfollowing a lot of pages that I had on my own personal one. So I decided to adopt that strategy because there's more than enough people to follow on Instagram. So I don't necessarily need everybody. I think for me, there was this tendency to be like, I have to have every single person that I see. And this mentality can be very stressful because, you know, you're following like hundreds and hundreds of people, but it's like, are they actually interested in your content? So I, I, I took a little bit of a look at that. It wasn't too many people. Um, and of course, you know, I was looking at the people who liked my content, following them if they were relevant um, or just following them mainly. And then, you know, commenting on other posts and um, I'm, my page is growing. Like I said, I got I got some good ideas for my page. Um, and I think this page could transform. I kid you not, guys. I have a vision. The vision is to transform this neighborhood because nobody's done it before. Nobody's transformed this part of Vista. Um, and it's basically stayed stagnant. You know, there's been some good businesses, but to really take it to that next level, somebody's got to go in there. Somebody's got to motivate these people also to make money too. But my, my my main purpose is to motivate these guys to achieve the next level. It doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter where they come from. It doesn't matter their culture or yada, 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 all this extra stuff. What matters is the passion, the motivation, and that purpose to go higher, you know, in life in general. So my idea is to help these guys out. Uh, help the businesses out in the local area specifically with restaurants because I love food guys I love food I love grocery you know and um, by doing so I think that it'll uplift them to the next level um, so I'm excited tomorrow um, I'm also uh, yeah so that's why I spent the time it's actually not very hard all you have to do is go so guys basically what you do is you find something you're interested in maybe a business you're interested in maybe a restaurant and then you go online and you check if they have a Facebook. Check if they have Facebook, Instagram, maybe Twitter, your other accounts. And then if they don't, um, contact them. Some go in, go to the store and contact them. And then, you know, pitch them. Be like, I can help you out with your social media. I can start a page. I can develop a brand. Um, I can post content, and I can get you guys out there so that way people know you you exist. Maybe people start coming in, buying things. Um, but the idea is to get their name out there because the reality is today's world, social media is very important. Um, Instagram is important. Facebook's important. So it's like, you got to get your name out there. If your name's not out there, then you're not reaching a lot of people. You could be missing out on so much potential customers, clients, uh, people to spread the message. It's just really social media is about E word of mouth and it's about E word of mouth 2.0, um, or E word of mouth, um, rather than just, you know, word of mouth. And it's important. I think organic is very important because that's a genuine type of uh, sharing. You know, it's easy to do ads, but a lot of times people like to skip it. But if it's organic, then people actually feel like they make the choice to share your content. When they have that choice, then there's that more, there's more power to do so. So I'm excited um, for tomorrow. And I came back and I'm glad I finished Napoleon Hill's book because it really inspired me. Um, and I started a little bit of the Law of Attraction book, which is going to be very, very powerful. I believe in the Law of Attraction 100%. And um, just today, I felt I felt great to know that you know anything is possible in life. It doesn't matter what it is, that you create your own reality and you make the choices that manifest anything. Anything is possible. So don't let people you know, the, the doctors that say this is impossible or, you know, the, the naysayers or the people who say uh, they don't believe your product, they don't believe your service, or they have this limiting mentality of what can be achieved in life and um, the limitations they put on it because that's a scarcity mentality, which is very natural and it's very biological scarcity. That's what drives people to fear, anxiety, and they don't think that, you know, there's enough to go around. The reality of the situation is that there is enough to go around. There is abundance in our reality. It's just that we have to realize that that there's more than enough resources to go around to everybody. So um, and nothing is impossible. So today was great, guys. I think that I did have an amazing day. I'm excited. I'm glad I got these books. I'm glad I saved up to buy those books. And I think anything is possible. And I believe in my reality. Um, and then, um, I had a great, like I said, great smoothies today. The grapes were a little bit, a little bit strange, but, um, uh, I'm excited to get more fruit. Um, and then, 
Um, I'm excited for tomorrow. My Instagram page is growing. I'm motivated for uh, day four. Um, but I got to stay present in this moment because one of the things, guys, you got you to remember is that you have when you do a detox and then you come back, you have to realize you have to stay in the present moment even when you go back to reality. Because I noticed when I was doing the Instagram stuff, my heart rate was increasing. I was feeling a little bit stressed. And I didn't notice these old feelings, but you got to maintain that because you can easily go back to the, you know, because you could develop all these great habits of meditation, of mindfulness. But if you don't cultivate that into reality, it's going to go back. It's going to go back to the old baseline. It's going to be like you... uh, you basically find yourself in the same place, and that's what happened to me. I didn't. Um, luckily, I you know stayed. I didn't do like I said. I didn't go back to PMO. I didn't get a girlfriend. Um, I didn't resort to any drugs, alcohol, gambling, um, or any sort of the external stuff. Even after um, going off going off the wagon, I would say, um, just focusing more on external reality rather than building myself. But um, like I said, I'm back on the wagon one month. You know, I cleaned up. I took a break from social media. I focus on mindfulness. I eat healthier, um, you know, incorporate a lot more smoothies, uh, fruit in my diet. I slept a lot better. I incorporate a lot of vitamins, did exercise, uh, reading a lot of these very high vibrational books, you know, not like Shiloh or or some kids books or something like good for kids. But, uh, you know, I got to elevate my consciousness. And so my advice to you guys is invest in some books, read some of these high vibrational media, take a break from low vibrational subconscious programming, television, radio, social media, subconscious programming, and be mindful in the moment, go outside, get some exercise, eat healthier, you know, it's pretty simple stuff, you know, go on the NoFap challenge transmute your energy cultivate that energy you know it's powerful stuff guys so i look forward to checking with day four of building my social media marketing uh i guess agency but right now it's about finding clients and um going forward with that finally guys i'm uh building that business that i've been thinking about for the last year of cultivating that too but i hope you guys have a good day and see you guys later